Okay, Algebra 1 Part A, this is uh, the review. This is probably like the first time you guys have done these reviews, right? I mean, I have the uh, modified version of the class, but in this case, regular uh, Part A, it's the first time you've ever seen it. I'm going to do a couple of them, uh, a couple of the problems on the review that hopefully you have with you. I gave you a key, unless you just missed out on that part of it. Um, some of these we hadn't actually done in class, but you should have already covered in uh, your other class before you got transferred in. We're going to do them anyway. So question number one, I'm not going to do all of them. I'm going to start with number one, though. Uh, what is the order of square root of 5, negative 0.1, negative 7 ninths, 0.7, and square root of 4? Now, the easiest thing to do is go ahead and put them in decimal form. I know that the square root of 4 is 2.0. Uh, negative 7 ninths as a decimal is negative... 0 0.77 repeating. Actually, it's 7 repeating, but I'm going to write out 7, 7 so I can make a comparison statement. This is already in, and the square root of 5 is 2.23. Now, this question asks me to put them from least to greatest, so that would be the smallest number going first. So that would mean the negatives would go first. I'm going to make a comparison statement between negative 0.07 and negative 0.1. You just compare them in column format. So the left column is the same, so that's useless. So I'm going to say, which is more negative, this negative 0.7 or negative 0.1? Well, I know that the more negative number is the smaller overall number. So I'm going to say, this is my first number in sequence because it's the smallest. And I'm going to go back and say, hey, there's negative 7 ninths being negative 0.77. So my first choice is negative 7 over 9. The other negative one has to be the next one in sequence because everything else is positive. So I would do negative 0 0.1 coming next. And then I'm making a comparison between the positive numbers. I'm going to erase this out really fast. Uh, my positive numbers would be 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 2.0, 
Now, he wants to make $515. He's going to save $50 a week. So $50 times X. Unfortunately, no matter how much he earns, he still has to pay off that 85 bucks. So it's minus 85. Draw the line. This is like party's over. So to get rid of minus 85, I'm going to add 85. Five one five plus eighty five gives me six hundred. By the way, the six hundred is how much money he'd have to pay to get all this to happen at once. So it's kind of like I just did a, a math setup that really I could have just added those two together. It would have been fine to start with. And then he's saving fifty bucks a week, so I need to divide total number of weeks that this guy's saving up some money would be twelve weeks. It's really not that complicated. Um, it shouldn't be all that scary or anything, but sometimes it is and sometimes it's not. You never know. The next one I'm going to look at, I think, is number nine, which I do not think is on the this version. On your paper that you should have with you, there will only be one, but I had to use two separate programs to do it. Let me just slide this over. There we go. And I'll flip it onto the Hopefully, I'll flip it onto the presentation view really fast. The menu bar floated away. That was the problem. All right, I'm going to look at number nine. And I'm going to zoom in to make it big enough to actually see. This is what number nine says. So we're going to solve this one. So you just set it up like you normally would for a minus 3 minus 1 equals 3 plus 3 a draw your line uh, combine like terms negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4 and then it's pork chops and applesauce get all your a's on this side on the left side so I'm gonna get rid of plus 3a by subtracting 3a 4 minus 3 is a then it's kind of a parties over situation to get rid of minus 4 I need to add 4 a is equal to 7. That was pretty simple, right? Not a big deal. I can even check my answer in this program, which is some super nice or sort of nice, depending on how you really emote about such things. It's convenient for me. Um, number 12 is the one I'm going to do next. If you have your review in front of you, this really actually matters. Um, this one doesn't actually ask you to solve. It just asks you to simplify things. I'm going to actually zoom it down just a touch so I have enough room to work it. But I'm going to do 4 times 2v, which gives me 8v. I'm going to write it down below. 4 times 6 is 24. Negative 10 times negative 4v gives you plus 40v. And negative 10 times negative 4 gives you plus 40. All I need to do is combine like terms, 48 v plus 64 right there I mean it's not that hard it just sometimes they trip you up and you don't want to get those wrong that's kind of an embarrassing situation the next one is number 18 this one um, this one's one of the sort of longer questions I guess so I'll draw the line here 4 times 3 is 12x. 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. I have no idea why I started that close. And I knew that would come back to haunt me as soon as I did it. I should have just gone over here. 12x minus 24. Um, 2 times negative 7 is negative 14, and that's an x. 2 times 8 is 16. Now I could combine like terms. On the right side, minus two or negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4x. On the left side, I've got two x terms, so 12 minus 14 is uh, negative 2x. And then I've got negative 24 plus 16, which gives you negative 8. In this situation, I've got an x or variable term on the right side and a variable term and a constant term on the left. So in order to not make myself do a bunch of extra work, I'm just going to move the 2x or get rid of the 2x on the left side instead. So to do that, I add 2x. Bring down negative 8. 
Uh, negative 4 plus 2x is negative 2x. Divide by 2. Divide by negative 2. And what I was thinking there. If you have times negative 2, you have to divide by negative 2. Negative 8 divided by negative 2 is positive 4. So my answer. 2 number 18 is J. And I can check the answer to make sure it's right. Because, you know, if I messed up, I need to know why. All right. By the way, sometimes I'll totally mess up on these, and I will go back and fix them, and I usually don't edit that out. I just let you see me make a mistake, because it's okay to make a mistake sometimes. By the way, of all the questions on this review, there, I think there's maybe one that's an identity a la all real numbers, which is what that means, uh, and or no solution, even though tons of them have that option. So don't just automatically go for it because it's there. They're just trying to set you up, I guess. So on this one... I'm going to write the actual problem down so I don't do the bringing over thing like I did before. I'll draw my line. I do 3 times m gives you 3m. 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Negative 3 times m is negative 3m. Negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9 bring that negative 6 down. Now I need to combine like terms on the same side. It's like clean your room. I'm going to put my toys together. 3 minus 3 is 0. So the m terms actually cancel themselves out here. So what I'm looking at is to see if the negative 15 plus 9 gives me a number that's equal to negative 6. Well, negative 15 plus 9 is negative 6. So negative 6 is equal to negative 6. That's a truth statement. So this would be an identity because it's the truth. And an identity in this set is called all real numbers. And the reason it's called all real numbers is because you can plug anything that's a real number in for m, and it'll give you a truth statement. It'll always say that the one side equals the other, and it's always going to be negative 6 equals negative 6. Now remember, if it's a lie, um, if it said negative 6 is equal to 7 or something, then that would be no solution, which means that no matter what you plug in for m, it doesn't matter. It's still not going to work. It's just a fruitless attempt. Now, in this case, the all-roll numbers thing works. So, number what you put for m, it's good to go. Um, the next one we're going to do is number 26. Unless I read my own handwriting wrong, which is totally likely. So, in this one, it looks a little different. It's not really at all hard. Draw the line. Uh, there's no baby goes bathroom here. There's no clean your room. There's no pork chops and applesauce. It's just a strict, basically a two-step equation. So I have that parties over thing going on. The 5 is really close to the x, so that's the friend. Minus 7 would be the friend to friend. So I get rid of minus 7. I need to add 7. x over 5 is equal to negative 2. To get rid of uh, divide, because this is x divided by 5, I need to times. x equals negative 10. It's not really a difficult question, but it could be, I guess. Um, similarly, the next one that we're going to do, let me check the answer first, make sure I'm right, yep, uh, is number 27, I think, yeah. 27 is one of those ones that looks weird, but it's not really difficult. Negative 5 plus n over 7 is equal to 2. Draw your line. There's no distributive property or clean your room or anything. You will note that in this problem, the entire uh, side of the problem is divided by 7, like this negative 5 plus n. So let's put that in parentheses just visually for right now. I'm going to rewrite that in parentheses because that was terrible. So this whole section here in parentheses is divided by 7. So in order to move on, we need to get rid of that divide by 7, and we need to multiply by 7 on both sides. This becomes 14. I bring down the entire thing that would have been in parentheses there, or the entire numerator. And then I just solve from here. To get rid of minus 5, I add 5. n is equal to 19. So your answer is A. The last one I'm going to do is number 29. After I check to make sure this is right. Oh, I'm getting really good at these now teaching the same exact stuff for about five years will do that to you. Not a super difficult one. I just put it on here because, or I'm just covering it on the video because it's got that weird negative thing there. There's a couple ways you can deal with a negative in front of a parenthesis. If you can remember 
to just change the signs of both the numbers, that's fine. Or you can just put negative 1, because that's what's supposed to be there. It's just not shown. Draw your line. Negative 1 times 3 is negative 3, and there's the, neck, there's the x there. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. Um, there's no more distributed property. There's no clean your room because it's variable term, constant term, variable term, constant term. I need to pork chops and applesauce, though, so I need to get all of my x terms over here. So minus to get rid of minus 3, I'm going to add 3x. And I need to do that here as well. Uh, in this situation, I'm left with, I did like a lot of, uh, um, hmm, there, weird. Anyway, uh, I have an X term here, and that's one I need to get by itself. So the 8 is the friend they're touching, uh, and the friend to friend would be the minus 18. If you have no idea what that means, there's videos on me teaching how to do that and what that means. So I need to get rid of minus 18 by adding it. And then finish it step would just be a divide. X is equal to 2. So my answer is B. I wanted to show you that one because it has the negative in front. Also because one of the choices is no solution, but it's not a no solution. Very few of them actually are. Or an identity. Either way, it's very rare, um, especially on this test. So I think this is all that you'll need. Uh, good luck on the test. Take your time. Make sure you write everything down. And everything's been going really well, so I'm pretty excited about the prospect of you doing really well on a test this week. Good luck.